opening dilemma. The debate over in-person schools rages on as we learn of students and school employees who've been diagnosed with COVID-19. One kindergarten teacher has a unique perspective on the problem. He spent a week in the hospital battling the virus and is worried about what could happen to the students if other teachers get sick. WBZ's Anna Redis Rodriguez has a closer look. I would become out of breath. And I would feel in my lungs a sensation that I hadn't felt before, just a heaviness. Little did Dan Deneen know he had COVID-19. But I attributed it to needing to lose weight. When a high fever sent him to the hospital, he remained there for a week. He returned home April 1st and quarantined inside a bedroom for a month. The only lingering effect I'm feeling now is fatigue. Now the veteran educator is concerned about a potential return to school and feels a phased plan is the safest way. What happens when you wind up with three, five, ten teachers who can't come to school for a month? Who is going to teach those classes? Overall, coronavirus cases in Massachusetts continue on a downward trend, but some communities are seeing spikes. Quincy school officials just announced three of its staff members, two of whom were part of in-person summer programs, tested positive for COVID-19. At least 17 people, including 12 students, have now been advised to get tested and quarantine. And in Melrose... That at least one Melrose High School student has tested positive for COVID-19. A pop-up testing site at the high school drove hundreds to get tested at the request of the mayor. This is an emergency response to an ongoing outbreak. As the president of the largest teachers union warns over rushing into a return. We can't possibly get everybody back in the building 100% and keep the community safe. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.